Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Destiny. And today's video is going to be really quick with some tips on how to apply bronzer um, for all skin types, but especially darker skin because I know it can be hard whether you're my complexion or five or six shades lighter. It's just hard to figure out how to apply bronzer to make your face look like you've been in the sun, you have, you know, gotten so much, somewhat of a tan, or just how to make your face look sculpted and natural. Um, so I'm going to talk about a few different types of bronzers that I like to use, matte, shimmer, and then cream, and just kind of how to apply them on your face to kind of get the effect that you might be looking for. My favorite way to apply bronzer is in a contour type fashion. Now I know that you're thinking bronzer is bronzer and contouring is contouring. However, I kind of like to combine the two for a more natural look. And the way I do that is I take like a nice contour brush, I actually prefer this one, my Sigma contour brush. So I like to take a brush like this and maybe a matte bronzer which is usually a lot softer than a face powder. You can also use a face or a contour powder. The particular one I like to use is Bronze Glow and it's from Black Radiance. And here goes the color right here and it's a matte bronzer. And what I like to do is take a little bit on my brush right here and I will contour my face sweeping it upward in a soft upward motion and I don't really have to worry about it falling low though I don't want it to I don't have to worry about that too much in particular because this color is actually very similar to my skin tone so I take this or maybe even B35 powder from P cover effects which is a little bit darker I like to do this first because usually when you are out in the sun and you are getting a little bit of color in your face the sides of your face around your forehead are usually the first ones hit because they actually you know contact the sun first so I like to take and do a little bit of contouring first and then I will take my bronzer and today I'm going to be using Jordana um, blush actually in it but it's in bronze and I'll take a goldy bronze or a coppery bronze more toward a copper because I like to accentuate the red and gold tones in my face so I'll use more of a copper colored bronze and get that on the tips and just bring that straight through my cheekbones and that will just give me a very nice glowing effect or even if I sweep it under here it will give my face the effect of having a little bit more color than usual you know and sweep it through my forehead and on my chin and down the bridge of my nose Try not to apply too much, especially in the bridge of my nose area because it can make your face look a little bit wider. So if you are going to do that, be gener uh, be a little sparing with the product. And I like to sweep it and sometimes even down my cheekbones and sweep it in that type of area. When it comes to cream bronzers and um, different highlighting powders, I like to use the same technique except for I'll keep it more in this area here and bring it out a little bit and then have maybe my blush in my blush area and then a little bit of a darker powder for contour. Some of, some of the tips you want to remember is kind of try to stay away from bronzers with really, really chunky glitters because it doesn't look as natural. Though if you are darker skinned, African American, Asian, or any of those type of tones, sometimes a bronzer with a little bit of a light reflection looks better because applying something matte like that on your face in those areas can make your face look a little bit muddy or dull. Usually lighter skinned um, Asians, Caucasians, usually look better with a shimmery tone I'm um, sorry with a matte blush because it shows up better and it's obvious it's an obvious uh, differentiate from this color of your face and then your bronzer or your contour color whereas if you're darker skin it might blend in and just make your face look like you have some tonal issues so again I'm gonna show you with my um, look New York blush brush and I'm gonna take some of my bronzer here on this on the tips and you can see the color hopefully it's a really pretty bronze color one of my favorite bronzers if you want to know some more of my favorite bronzers I will actually have a link in the bottom bar or somewhere in this video I will have an annotation to take you to where you can see some of my favorite bronzers but yeah I'll just take that on my um, brush and I already have so much on I hope it doesn't you know look like too much but you could just sweep it across in a very um, upward toward your hairline type of fashion and generally in this shape which would kind of carve out your cheeks and make it look like the sun was definitely hitting there and you have a pretty glow going on I like to add my contour 
and then if I'm going to add a blush I'll put the blush more generally in my cheek area but very soft because you want the bronze to kind of be the dominant color and dominant effects on your face okay guys so I hope these really quick tips were helpful I also recently did a how to apply blush video it should be up before or after this video if you have any questions or comments definitely leave them below as always guys thank you so much for commenting rating and subscribing I'll be in touch and hopefully you'll do the same bye